Hey everyone, welcome back. So, Lubuntu 25.10, codenamed Questing Quokka, is finally here. Yep, the Lubuntu team just dropped their 29th release and it continues that lightweight, snappy experience we all love. And fun fact, this is actually the 15th release with LXQT as the default desktop. So let's see what's new, what's changed, and yeah, where Lubuntu's headed next. All right, first things first, Lubuntu 25.10 is an interim release. So it'll be supported for about nine months until July 2026. If you're still on 25.04, you should probably upgrade soon because updates and bug fixes will be focusing on the upcoming 26.04 LTS. You can grab the ISO from Lubuntu's official site or just follow their manual if you're upgrading directly. Okay, so what's new? Lubuntu 25.10 ships with LXQT 2.2 the latest version of the lightweight desktop environment. It's smooth, polished, and just feels a bit more responsive than before. Now, the biggest under the hood change isn't visual. It's Rust Ubuntu 25.10 and all its flavors, including Lubuntu. Now use utils Rust Core Utils, basically system level tools rewritten in Rust for better safety and reliability. So commands like LS, CP, and RM are now Rust-based. Pretty cool, right? But um, it might cause pa small compatibility hiccups. So if something feels off, yeah, it's not just you. Also, sudo has been replaced by a Rust version called sudo rs. It's faster and safer, but missing a few older features, like the E flag that used to preserve your environment variables. So just be careful with scripts that depend on that. Now, there are a few known issues. If you're doing an OEM install, you might have to manually install the Calamaris installer to finish setup. Also, sometimes the boot screen shows 25.04 instead of 25.10. It's just a cosmetic bug. And if you're manually partitioning during install, make sure to reselect your bootloader. Otherwise, you might end up with an unbootable system. So yeah, double check those during setup. The Lubuntu team also mentioned this release is kind of, well, semi-boring. They had fewer developers this cycle, so most of the focus was on stability and maintenance rather than big new features. They're still on X11 for now, no Wayland yet, though they plan to switch to Lab Bowsy, a lightweight Wayland compositor, by 26th of April. And honestly, that's fair. Lubuntu has always been about staying lean and reliable rather than chasing trends. Now, here's the thing. Lubuntu really needs developers and testers. If you've got some spare time and you're into open source, they're actively inviting people to help with the uh, bug fixes, packaging, and testing edge cases like OEM or manual installs. So yeah, if you want to contribute to Linux, this might be your chance. Overall, Lubuntu 25.10 Questing Quokka is a small but solid release. LXQT 2.2 runs great. It's still super lightweight. And while there's not much flash, it's dependable. Perfect for older PCs or anyone who just wants a fast Ubuntu base without the bloat. Anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, drop a like if you found this useful and uh, subscribe if you love Linux updates like this every week. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.